Hello, it's Emma Jo here from Lavinia Stamps and in this video I'm going to be showing you the second part, the embellishment part of the Enchanted Forest. So that's Lavinia Tours part three, but the second part of it, it gets complicated. <clears throat> so let me show you in this magic book that we've started what we've got and look. This is what I'm going to show you now. So this is, do you remember, we made the enchanting tree and then we'd already done two sheets of A4 with this special crackle effect. And I've got to remember which way we start to read a book. We've got sticker sentiments on here and underneath. Look, you lift up the tree and you can see a little fairy. And the fairy says, what does she say, Emma Jo? I haven't got enough hands, that's what she says. They, uh, they entered the da da da. And up here we've got, yay, one of the Mises, which you can find about here. And then over here, we've got the second tree which has got love and light, lovely lady, fairy wishes and angel kisses, which are all great things to use as conversation starters when you're trying to read the story. Yeah. And you lift up this tree. <laughs> it's much better when I've just got my nose. You lift up that tree and you've got a fairy that drops down and it says the enchanted forest and flew among the trees don't need much really but just enough so you've got it we are let into this wonderful enchanted forest with all the fairies and I'm hoping you can see how much glitz and glam there is you see in between the trees we've got stickles it's just magical and can you see how much away from that main page our enchanting tree is anyway Enough chat from me. Let's try that again. Anyway, <laughs> enough chat from me. Come with me and let me show you how it's done. OK, so let's look at where we're starting from. Last week we got to this point. OK, so that was part one. I'm just going to shut that up and let's get started with the wet wing stamp. A little bit of Versafine Claire Nocturne. And I'm just doing this because I want the wings. I want the wings. So, just doing a couple of stamps on a small bit of paper where the wings are the bits that I'm after. Now we're going to do the mice. So we're just doing the characters, the bits that we're going to use. Now, if you remember last time, I've used Blue Atoll, I've used Elements Ink, Green Sleeves, Confetti and Sundance to make these little circles around the stamps of Tilly and Tango, um, Minnie and Minnie, Minnie and Minnie, Minnie and Moo, that's it, that's the badger. And here I am just cutting out those wings that we've just stamped and giving them some wings on their backs using some bippity boppity glue. And there we go, I'm colouring it in with the lavender Posca pen. Just little dots of it, just to give a little hint of colour. and also some yellow and there will be a bit of glitter going on afterwards as well so that it has a bit of a shimmer oh and a yellow eye <laughs> I've decided the eyes this week are yellow and don't forget we've got the fairy forager stamps there as well so there we go that's the stickles icicle and I'm literally putting a dollop on and smearing it over the wings now let's move to the leaves so last week we made those silver birch trees and now this week we're going to look at the canopy just above. So that's a size 9 stencil brush, some Elements Inks green sleeves and Sundance. And I'm doing the Sundance straight across the middle at the top and the green sleeves at the bottom for the ground. Lifting up the enchanting tree to make sure that it's just going to all melt into each other. Because when it's flat, it will look flat. But when you have the book slightly open, it will stand proud, which is what we want. 
So again, a little bit of Elements Ink Sundance just at the bottom. If you can imagine that tree, because it's shining, that's the idea that we're going for. It's a shiny tree. We're making it shine on the canopy above. Now, this is Della Ink, uh, Della Blue, Elements Ink Della Blue, with the smaller stencil brush, size three. And I'm just starting to build a little bit of shadow under that canopy, in between the trees, on top of the trees, just to give it a bit of depth. I know it's stylized, but just adding these extra little bits to it just gives it a little bit of depth, which is what we're after. Obviously, please don't try and work as fast as this. I have sped myself up. <laughs> Okay, so now with a watercolour brush and a Posca pen, I'm just spreading some of that yellow across that canopy. Do you remember we did the Sundance? Well, this is just making certain bits, the bits closest to the tree, that would be hit by the brightest light. That's what we're doing with the Posca. Now this is a stencil brush size 9 with confetti, Elements Ink confetti. Can you see, it just almost brings a, a touch of sunset to those trees. Just at the bottom. Now the stencil time. Okay, so I'm using Laurel. And I'm just, I've turned my book upside down. I've got Elements Ink Pine and my usual size 9 stencil brush. And I'm just bringing, even down onto the white trees, some of that stencil. Now I will go over it again with a darker colour, but already it's giving that texture without too much, too much illustration, if you like. So I'm going back over it with a size three stencil brush, but just on the edges, and I'm using dark denim. And this will provide yet another bit of depth, but also a frame and a leafy frame, which we quite like. Not wrong with a leafy frame. Okay, moving along. As I said, just along the top, and it will go right the way along. It will go right the way along. So you can take some of it down a little bit, but really the bit that we're aiming for is the top. You know that, that very edge of the book. Okay, what's what's happening now? Posca highlights, hurrah! So again, I'm back in with that yellow. Now I'm highlighting some of the leaves and it's the leaves that I think would have been hit by our enchanting tree's light as she shines in the centre of the grove. And even if you've like got half a leaf, just take that leaf out beyond. You can draw that other half of the leaf. It's only a triangle, really. And then I'm going either side of the silver birches and even inside and adding knotwork to the trees and lines either side of the trunks. The undergrowth. So I'm using Versafine Claire Nocturne and the Pixie Houses stamps because I think they're rather dinky. And I like this idea of it being magical, so magical that some people, some little folk live there. So we've got the pixie houses in and now we're going to sort out some characters. Excuse me. So Elements Ink Blue Atoll, size 9 stencil brush and just put it on some, I think that's a 7x7? Seven seven? No, at an angle, that's a 7x7 seven seven verse. Um, Multifarious card, and that one is Della Blue. And then this is Elements Ink Sundance. And I'm just, my aim is that when I put the Olivia Large stamp on, that yellow is where we're going to see the, um, that's green sleeves. Um, that's where we're going to see the highlighty bit of her little, her gift, the seed. So there we go. Just ink that up with some Versafine Claire Nocturne. And I'm ripping her. <laughs> so that's my shape. 
what I love about ripping is you can be as forceful as you need to be. It's also great therapy. Um, and you can tidy it up a bit later if you've got bits that you don't like the look of. I mean, I'm just touching up her bottom with a bit of black Posca pen, as you do. Um, Elements Ink, Sundance and green sleeves going around the outside just to help her settle into her environment. So, Elements Ink, Sundance... And on the back of that, just putting some on, blending some on. The undergrowth continued. Right, we have the cedar stamp and Versafine Claire Verdant. So you're going to look at that and think, well, I can't see it. But believe me, it's just a little background to build upon. That's what's so lovely about these. So I'm just stamping that all the way along the undergrowth. And then I move on to the same stamp, but this time with Versafine Claire Shady Lane, or Shady Lady, as she's nicknamed. Shady Lane, again, just around where we've done the Verdant stamp before. Not the Verdant stamp, the Verdant ink on the cedar stamp. And gradually we build up this, this feeling of there being something other than paper there really so we've got texture arriving fab ripping I've already told you I enjoy this bit so now my little characters I'm just ripping them up and I will be putting them in various places throughout this video <laughs> to see where I actually want them to go because it is a work in progress you know you start with one idea and it can evolve which is you know don't be afraid of things evolving just go with what feels right and trust your instincts so there we go I am ripping the mice which isn't painful to any mouse at all so this is my coral Posca pen coral pink and I'm just adding some lovely dots around the undergrowth or shall I call them fairy orbs no dots I like dots fair bit of dotage going down onto that undergrowth oh and onto the Olivia stamp just so that it looks like it belongs you know it fits the scheme now we've got some yellow there. Again, Posca pen. Very fun. What's happening now? Well, we've got the Nia stamp. And I've used some Versafine Claire Nocturne. Popped it on an acrylic block, stamped it. And then given her a background of Elements Ink green sleeves. Sundance and a little bit of confetti. Don't worry about the ferns. That was something I was playing with, but I decided against in the end. Um, this is me just getting near ready. So she's going to be on the opposite side of Olivia. And I'm turning that over and I've blended some confetti on the back. And I'm now writing with a black Posca pen. They entered the... And on the back of Nia, I'm writing Enchanted Forest and flew through the trees. Um, now, just make sure when you're doing these that I've got Olivia bending down. So she needs to have, you need to make sure you've got it the right way. Hold Olivia onto the page and bend her down and then you'll and make a line, you know, uh, fold it where the bend's going to be because that's where you'll glue. And then you can write the rest beneath it so that it reads nicely when you're reading the book. For Nia, the little one on the left-hand side, the pink one, you need to put her flat on the left-hand side, then bend her as if you're opening a card and fold that end bit. Again, that end bit is where you're going to put your glue. Now, you can see there the bottom bit is where I've put the glue or I'm putting the glue. 
And I'm just going to bring her into the rest of the illustration with a little bit of dark denim and a size 3 stencil brush. And what am I up to now? Well, I've obviously decided that that dark denim is a cracking good idea. So I'm just going in between the trees. And in doing this, I highlight that yellow. I'm bringing the tree to life a bit more. Do you see? Does that make sense? I hope so. And that's fabulous because what we're going to do after that is we're going to add a little bit of fairy magic. And because it's dark, the fairy magic is going to look really twinkly. So here we go. We's ripping again. This time it's fairies. No one is safe. And as I've said, if you if you don't like the shape of it, you can go back in. What I love about stamping them on something else and then sticking them in is it just makes everything um, look more crisp. OK, stencil brush, size nine, Sundance, Elements Ink Sundance. And what have I done? I'm doing this as a background for the some words. So I've got yay, which is obviously going to come out of the mouth of a mouse. That wasn't easy to say. Um, I'm just giving Nia something to sit on over there. It was just literally a black line underneath her bottom, uh, through the centre of her feet. OK, a little bit of that dark denim on the edges of the text. Gives it that sort of slightly weathered parchment look. Glue on the back of our fairies. Here we go with that stickles gold. I told you there was going to be fairy magic. Literally just dots down where we had that dark denim. And that will catch the light beautifully. See? It's going to be magic. And this is Posca Pen Yellow. Just highlighting those leaves again to make sure that I've got all the ones I want highlighted. Going down to the undergrowth now. Oh, putting the lights on in the pixie houses. Don't forget to pop a little bit of yellow Posca in the windows. And along the sides of the houses so it looks like the light of the tree is hitting that side of the house. So, stickle glitter. Now, so I have chosen to go back onto the enchanting tree with some holly stickles glue. And I am literally just having fun colouring in bits around that wonderful, well, I'm going to say hairstyle, because that's how it feels, doesn't it? Because of Zia's face. And Stickles, sea foam, and Holly are great for working against each other. I'm putting a few dots on her face. It just gives us a little bit of zing, which is exactly what we want. Exactly what we want, because it's magical. And glitter says magic, doesn't it? So have fun. Any gaps, fill them in with a little dot of glitter, of stickle glitter. Now you can see that I have now stuck uh, Nia down. I have stuck Olivia down. That's the two text bits on the side. And I've stuck the two fairies at the top there. You can put those fairies wherever you'd like, but I sort of put them there. Now I've got Stickles rose, rose Gold. Because of that confetti that we put in earlier on the base of the trees, I've gone with something that would complement that, and I've started at the bottom and gone up. Now that's my Posca Pen Black. I've stuck my Yay down, and I've just gone underneath it with Black Posca just to make it more visible so that it doesn't disappear. The mice and the glue. That sounds like a dodgy story, but here we go. So, still ripping because obviously it seems like something I want to do. And I'm just going to work out where do I want that mouse. Now, we know the mouse is flying. Ah, there's one behind already, look. So, where am I going to stick this other one?
I'm going to pop him there, I think. Even though he's above, that doesn't really matter. So open some bippity boppity glue. I tend to put it on a, a place that I can get the glue onto my finger and just pop it on the back. Right, so I've got, did I say that was graphite? Yes, that's graphite, watercolour brush, and I'm just using it as a shadow there. So this is that second bit of the crackle stuff. And what I'm doing is I'm going to use it to basically cover our two fairies. So put the put your piece up against your fairies that you've got there and cover them. But remember, these are trees. So I've gone for a sort of circular sh shape on the edges, ripping up some dreamscapes to make a canopy for the top and a little bit of greenery for the bottom. And you're going to be thinking, what on earth is she doing? Well, let me tell you, sometimes I think that too. <laughs> so, right, uh, just popping a bit of uh, bippity boppity glue. I've used the greener side of the dreamscape paper and I'm just doing it in little collage down the bottom of little bits. Use up your scrag ends, really, because... It's just going to look so effective anyway. So bit at the top. Seriously, you're just ripping in one long line, but with, with a bit of a wave to it. And the smaller bits that you get rid of, don't get rid of them. Just stick them down the bottom. Right. Stencil brush size nine. Elements Ink Sundance. And we're just giving the sides of the um, trees a bit of a swipe with it and the canopy at the top. So that's Pine and Sundance for the canopy. Don't stress about it. You're just blending it in circles. And you get your stencil brush size three, dark denim. Do you remember how we did it before? I'm rushing through this because we've done this in more detail already. Um, and this is just a repeat. So we're using Versafine Claire Warm Breeze this time. Um, with our cedar stamp and that's going either side on the forest floor. Laurel stencil, as I say, we've done this before, you know the drill. Uh, Elements ink pine. Just getting that shape done. Fabulous. Going over it again, but this time with dark denim. Changing brush, because that was a close run thing there. Tut tut. Okay, gone for the blue. Uh, dark denim, just giving that edge to it like we did before. And now what am I doing with it? Well, my friends, I'm going to cover the back. Now, this is me cutting it to size. Okay, and I'm going to cover the back using some Dreamscape papers. Pick a colour you like. Bibbidi bobbidi glue. Jobs are good and stick it on. OK, so super speedy, stuck on. Happy days. Remember, you're going to turn it over now. Trim it to size. Fab. And then fold it over like you will have done previously with Nia and what's her name? Olivia. I know her well. Um, and just using that edge. Pop that down. Now, if you've got any bulldog clips, to help it dry, that would be a cracking idea just to stick it there. Now, we've done the same with the left side as well. Added a mouse so that we can see where he is. And we're going to use some sentiment journal stickers. And I've just chosen some that I thought were lovely. So what have we got? We've got lovely lady, love and light, fairy wishes and angel kisses, love, live life and magical. And so the idea is that when you open those... You've got a story beneath. And you, my friends, you did it. Well done. I really, really, I hope you can hear me. I really, really enjoyed this. I enjoyed adding all those extra elements and creating this forest by using a technique, which is fab. And it looks, it works so well with the stamps because it makes the stamps come alive. They sing all on their own. I hope you've enjoyed yourself. Thank you so much for coming along with me and having a go. Um, the next part will be next week and we will be going to... I'm not going to tell you. Yes, I am. We'll be going to the Wish Factory. They have a special tour all around the Wish Factory.
Thank you very much for coming along and having a go with me. If you would like to make a comment about this craft, please pop it in the post below and I will do my best to get back in touch with you as soon as I possibly can. But in the meantime, have fun. <laughs>